Okay. So um, before we get started here today, I get asked many times, and just in case anybody here is wondering, you and Dr. Wolner work together a lot, okay? Where does he end, what does he do, and what do you do? Like what kind of delineates the difference between what we actually do together? So maybe you could speak a little bit to that. You bet, yeah. Um, a lot of people think that uh, there's a significant amount of overlap between you and I, that we basically do the same sorts of things. When in reality, truth be told, there probably is some overlap here or uh -huh. there. But the way that I delineate it, just so people understand, and in terms of our working relationship, uh, Sam is a traffic master, among other things. Um, but that's really, his wheelhouse is in traffic, driving quali quality, qualified traffic to funnels. Um, I build funnels, and I optimize funnels, and I test funnels, and I uh, use them in my practice, yep. and I teach others how to do the same thing. So uh, traffic and funnels uh, could be viewed the same way as like a hose and water. You right. know what I mean? Like right. uh, the hose is what uses the water, you know, right. or directs the water or whatever. Um, you know, so same sort of right. idea. So the, the benefit that I have as an agency, most agencies don't get to see, hey, I do this campaign and this result happens. I get to see that. Yeah. That's important for me, right? So one thing is as you test and create new offers, you come come at me with questions and we and we uh, collaborate on that. But at the end of the day, when we're running funnels for Dr. Woolner, they're his funnels. Yeah. Right. And I am then able to take like uh, my version of my take on what's happening in other markets. Because guess what? No two funnels come. Uh, two per, markets are the same. Yeah, they're they're not the same. So I can take that and then say, hey, here's what we see, and really make sure that we're delivering a good result. So right. I wanted to kind of um, touch on that first and foremost. That way, if there was any confusion there, um, we could clear that up. And then at the same time, give plenty of context for the value that we're going to be delivering here today. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. You ready to go, buddy? Ready, man. All right, here we go. So we're going to share that screen. And then I got to move this bad boy over here and hit begin. Begin. Let the fun begin. All right. So this what this uh, webinar is titled "How to Win in 2019: How to Attract High Ticket Niche Patients and the Best Ads and Offer Proven to Work." So today, as I said, uh, my goal is to really pull back the curtain and show you what works. Okay. And I don't I don't want to just set it up and say, "Hey, here's the ads and here's the offers." Like we're gonna get to that. But without the context and without what went into making those, you won't get anything from this. You really yeah. don't, you really won't understand, right? Um, as always, like we value your guys' time. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you guys do stay to the end, like don't bail after five minutes or whatever, you stick around to the end. We know you're busy, but at the same time, if you do stick around, I'm going to give you something pretty cool, right? And I call this thing my $25,000 email. Now, I don't, I don't know how much you've made with it. A lot. A lot. Um, but I actually have one client who reported back to me $25,000 for sending one email. All right. This is a pretty dope, um, you know, training. It's really simple to do. You guys can do it. So if you stick around to the end, I'll give that training to you and you can actually send that email tomorrow. All right. Maybe get you some patience in the door. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So today here's what we need. First things first please give me your attention. If you're flipping around Facebook, you know, whatever it is, looking at kittens on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind shutting that off, that would be great. Uh, we really need your attention here. The next thing is nothing is, is more frustrating than giving a ton of value, which we intend on giving today and seeing no action, right? So just promise me if you guys, um, if you're taking notes, whatever it is, tr promise me that you'll a, take action, and B, if you can, even reach back out and share it and let us know like your results or what you got with it. Cool? All right, quick disclaimer. I'm going to walk you through our system from start to finish, okay? Past results are no guarantee of future results, okay? There is no such thing as get rich quick in marketing. This requires real, real work. At the end of the day, uh, there is no magic wand here, um, but this stuff is effective and we're excited to get into it. Ready to go? I'm ready, man. All right, so my name is Sam Carlson. A little bit about me before we get started. Uh, 25th West is the name of my agency, okay? Uh, a cool thing that we shared before I shared on my, um, you know, we obviously shared on our website in different places, and you and I 
um, did a show about it, was were they actually the only agency with published results on Facebook, meaning Facebook actually verified with their attribution data results that we uh, produced for a clinic. Okay, if you wanted to see that, you could always go, you could Google Facebook business and then put in Bremerton Wellness as well. They, they did a whole, like, uh, they basically deconstructed all of our offers, our ads, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. Uh, in addition to that, I am also a uh, podcaster. I've got a top ranked podcast on Facebook ads. It's called the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Um, I've been doing that for about two years. And it's, you know, it's pretty popular podcast. And the thing I think I'm most uh, proud about, the biggest feather in my cap, and I really hate like just bragging about all this, but for positioning sake and you understanding bet. that you guys aren't just listening to anybody, is just boots on the ground. I've been an entrepreneur for 18 years, yeah. right? So for me, marketing means results, okay? Before I did an agency, I had to use marketing to get results. So that's what it really boils down to. Um, a little bit about the podcast. Um, it's actually, again, it's, it's pretty cool because it's ranked on the first page of Google for a couple of cool keywords like Facebook ads podcast. You'll find us right there. If you, if you search that, you'll find us on the first page. If you search the best Facebook ads podcast, you see that best, best Facebook ads podcast, you'll find us on the first page of Google actually twice. So it's pretty cool. A little bit more about that um, case study. Okay. So this case study was done by Facebook business. Again, um, you can go and see that uh, by Googling Facebook business and then Bremerton wellness. Um, they actually went through and they pulled back the curtain on what we did. Ultimately what that meant to this clinic was in about a three and a half month time frame, they got about three and a half, uh, 300 leads, 70% people were taking offers. They improved their, this was the big one. They improved their new patient volume by 55%. Now Facebook didn't know what the new patient volume was, but this clinic went from zero to uh, about 200 weekly visits in five months. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you can see here, if you go here, uh, they'll tell you a bit about it, how we did it. Okay. They'll tell you, you know, that's who we are that they'll, uh, you know, they'll say, Hey, 25th West was the person that did this. So pretty cool. All right. Enough of that. All right, guys. Let's do it. So here's what we're going to cover today. Okay. How to attract high ticket, new patients, niche patients, and the best ads and offers to, uh, to, uh, that work. Okay. So in part one, we're going to talk about, uh, why most offers attract the wrong patients. I'm sure if you've been running ads on Facebook or any type of, uh, you know, digital platform, you've experienced this and why a lot just flat out fail. Don't work from the get go. Okay. Uh, part two, the only two offers you'll need. Pretty dope. I'm excited about that. And then part three, the, the proven ROI machine, our top performing ads and offers. And at the, here's the deal, at the bare minimum, okay, what we hope to provide to you guys today is a solution to get more new patients, a lot more new patients. Cool? All right. So why are we here today? I have my reasons. You have your reasons because I made you come here. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but really, so I have the, the Facebook ads. Um, podcast, but I also have a Facebook ads group and that group is geared around people coming in, learning Facebook ads. Okay. Asking questions and different things like that. And every so often we get interesting comments and maybe you've seen some of yeah. these types of comments, uh, comments like this. And I say, just how bad is this? So this one says meeting with my first chiropractor tomorrow. What is a good offer to provide to potential, uh, to potential for potential uh, chiropractors? Okay, if I launched if I launched a funnel for my chiropractor, what conversion rate would be good? What should I expect? How do I know if it's okay or if something's wrong? Okay, help! I'm about to launch my first funnel. This is scary. It's for a chiropractor, but I'm struggling with the ad copy. Any agency people out there care to share their uh, best ad copy for a chiropractic ad? we could just keep going on and on. Okay. Does anyone have a good funnel for generating chiropractic leads here? If you're willing to share, I'd be grateful. This is who's running people's ads right now. This is what's happening. Yeah. Right. Um, Hey guys, landed my first chiropractic client. Got him. You know what I mean? Uh, how would I target the clients on Facebook? How would, what were their interests be? Okay. And then the PS de resistance, you know, um, there's a lot of people out there that tout themselves as 
pros at the top level as whatever. This person happened to be the funnel queen, right? The queen the, of the funnels. Queen of funnels. Sorry, the queen of funnels. Yes. Right. And she reached out to a friend of mine and said, "Hey, I love what you're doing. I heard you were go you uh, were the go-to for creating funnels for Kairos. I have a new client. Was wondering if you can send me an example of high converting funnels you use. I'm happy to pay. Thanks in advance. But she's the funnel queen, yeah. or the queen of funnels." You guys, at the end of the day, here's where we're looking at. Most of the time, what's going on out there is the blind leading the blind. So that's reason number one, okay? Reason number two is um, you were cool enough to share my results in your group, in Cairo Funnels community, as well as, you know, your page. And we're always sharing it in other places as well. And so uh, I not only, here's a, a comment I got, but. I was getting messages on Messenger. Well, what was the offer? What was the offer, right? So here I say, there's all my secrets. They really, uh, Facebook business, they pulled back the curtain yeah. on what we did, okay? But we've got this doc coming in and, said, and saying, so my question is, what was the offer, right? Which kind of leads me to the punchline, okay? People are tired of all the BS, okay? They want to see what, what successful clinics like yours are actually doing. Okay, so what do you say? We cut the crap and give it to them. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, you guys ready to roll? Let us know. Give us some comments in the book, Doctor Wilner. If I uh, you let me know. Guys, awake. I'm. I am uh, partly co-hosting Moderator. slash moderating <laughs> comments. So if you guys are awake, say here. Excited. All right. Cool. All right. Yes, cool, yes, guys. Yes. Awesome. Rock and roll. All right. So we're gonna jump right into. In order to understand how to make good offers, we need to know what bad offers are. Right, so why most offers attract the wrong patients or flat out fail. Here are the top three <laughs> funnel flops. I love that picture. It's great, isn't it? It's pretty cool. All right, so the first one is the giveaway the farm flop, right? The Groupon style flop. I'm sure we're gonna get into that here in just a second. The copy and paste flop. We've got a fun story about that. And the no filter flop. All right, so um I'm going to jump into this, but here's what we're talking about. The giveaway, giveaway the farm. I mean, I know you, I've heard your webinar a bunch of times. You guys, if you haven't heard Dr. Wolner's webinar, uh, you have one on Thursday. I do. Okay. I do. It's been a while since we've done one. Chirofunnelsecrets.com forward slash one. That's it. Chirofunnelsecrets.com. Okay, cool. We'll take you straight there. Um, yeah. So, so Groupon, uh, before I even go into my story, if you guys haven't heard the story in the chat, how many of you have done Groupon? If you've done Groupon, say, yes, I've done Groupon in the chat. In the question box. I want to see how many people have done Groupon. If you guys are familiar, or, or Living Social, which is, is there such a thing as Living Social anymore? Or are they dead? I don't know. We had done both of them. We had done Living Social. We're like We were like, I'm the type of person where when I'm in on something, I'm like both feet in like all the way. So yeah. we did Groupon, Living Social. There was an even, there was even, uh, believe it or not, guys, nope. Okay, we got somebody saying nope. Um, the interesting thing is uh, back in the day, uh, this is a little fun tidbit for you guys. Russell Brunson started a competitor company. I remember this. To, it was um, uh, City Smart, CitySmart.com. Okay. Him and BJ Wright started it. So, and we ran That's a deal. That's a cool name, by the we way. Ran a, we ran a deal on City Smart too. We ran it City Smart, Groupon, Living Social. So, point being, I've done it all, right? Yeah, okay. right. So, um, so if you guys have done Groupon, you know the the pain. And what I mean by the pain is, when I first did it. We ran an incredible deal uh, and it was all pretty much simultaneous and we had literally hundreds of people sign up and we were super excited. We were like high-fiving, celebrating. We were like, holy cow, we'll never have to do anything again to get new patients. It was like literally in a matter of a day or two, we had over 250 people claim right. the offer and it was like, uh, it was like- The holy grail. Oh, it was like, well, yeah. And our offer was like exam, x-rays. Uh, first two or three adjustments and a one hour massage. It was like insane. Oh, it was like, that's a good, well, it was like, we wanted, to, we wanted to up the sure, ante, you know, because sure. everybody else was just like exam and x-rays. So we're like, we're going to just go all in, you know? Yeah. And we were excited until we found what we really had. We didn't really have 200 patients. We had 200 headaches. And what I mean by that is I always tell this story to illustrate or represent the caliber of people by and large. We had some good patients. We did here and there, but uh, it was what I call the fishing net where you just couldn't differentiate. One, yeah. of, one lady in particular, this story stands out above all the other stories. She uh, came in, did her exam, 
uh, got her one hour massage at the end of the massage, our massage therapist, not trying to heavy handed upsell her, but just simply told her, you know, you could probably benefit from another massage. Um, you got a lot of scar tissue, a lot of muscle spasm, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And the lady, her exact words to her was her exact words were, um, she said, uh, she said, thank you. Um, I appreciate that. And yes, I do need another massage. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, as soon as I get home, I've got a whole stack full of oh these Groupon gosh. offers from other places. And so I'll make sure I schedule another appointment and use those. So thank oh. you so much. I use them more frequently. We were just like, <laughs> did she really say that? Like we were like, um, so, so, um, yeah, so shocked. <laughs> so, you know, I, you know, that story is illustrative of, of the nature of that style of offer. Yeah. Right. Whether it's on Groupon or whether it's on Facebook, that type of offer is gonna, I mean, yeah, you'll get leads, but do you want leads? Is, is, yeah. is this thing all about getting leads? Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's a great story. I'm sure you guys uh, were getting some comments in the chat. You know, that's not how you want to grow your business. That not is not a conducive way to filling up your, uh, you know, to filling up your calendar with all these new patient uh, visits yeah. that you get promised. Yeah. Right. Anything else on that? It's just, I think it's a recipe for headaches. Truly. If you're having to expend a tremendous amount of energy and, and I guess the point that I would just simply drive home with this is what I've come to find is the funnels job is to help to a large degree filter. It should be a filtering process uh, rather than you and your team having to do a lot of that filtering. So uh, Chad looks like, looks like he's still in pain. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's a, no, I've, I've, I love that story, by the I've way. I've recovered. I've recovered. So. I love that story when you, yeah. when you tell it on your webinar or when yeah. we do it at the MAP event. It's pretty, yeah. it's, I love it. So, yeah. okay, cool. All right, let's go to the next one. The copy and paste flop. How a crazy offer killed a flourishing brand. This was, this is another story. And I think you guys, if you're kind of catching the vision of what we're doing here, like there is patterns happening out there that you don't necessarily see potential secondary consequences, right? And in this case, um, Dr. Wilner hosts a, an event called the MAP event, Massive Action Plan Weekend, right? We just finished one up uh, this last weekend. And um, at those events, we get a lot of docs with a lot of different experiences and we hear all sorts of stories, right? And so recently, and maybe you could kind of go into oh, Dr. This, Dr. This, Gred's story. This one was one of the best. Um, we had a doc who was there, um, he uh, was international. And he hired this agency to run Facebook ads and funnels for him. And they were like supposedly one of the big, big dogs in town. And they were like, everybody was using them and everything like that. He said he started marketing to a different city nearby his, his city. Sure. And he said, um, all of a sudden, I don't remember how he specifically he said he came across it, but what he saw was there was another chiropractor they were working with who was using the exact same ads and funnel and it, it said it completely killed his, his I mean, it, it, it destroyed his offer and it destroyed uh, temporarily his reputation with his clinic. All of a sudden people were like, what the heck are you doing here? Like, that's this guy, you know? And all of a sudden he was just like, holy cow, he hadn't been told. He was literally using the exact same uh, copy and paste yeah. uh, ad and funnel. Like exact same. Well, the, the unique and interesting thing about that is right now in our town, uh, we live in Meridian, Idaho. I have gotten targeted by three docs with the exact same oh, offer totally. and the exact same images. Yeah, yeah, exact same. It's a and, doc. And, it's a doc and, giving an adjustment to and, a patient that's well, not the doc. And the framework and the framework is so, to me anyway, is like so disingenuous. It's that whole like it used to be the hey Meridian, we're doing a crazy deal. That was like the headline, you know. Yeah. Now the new headline du jour that everybody's copying and pasting is the hey meridian headaches are no fun right or hey meridian back pain's no fun right, right? well yeah. we want to do something and they try they, they they try and like play transparent we want to do something to promote our clinic you don't say right you know so anyways it's well like, and, and and again the secondary consequence what doc think about this right now okay what happens to your brand to your brand equity to your past patients future prospects what happens right now if you start running a campaign that doesn't do anything except for position you as the lowest option in town. Cause that, right. that's what that offer does. Right. And there's no customization to it. The guy down the street's running it. 
ask yourself, what is that going to do to you? Enough said. Yeah. Right. All right. Cool. The no filter. All right. So this is, you mind if I take this for a second? Dude. Okay. This is, this is the best one of all. I think um, this is brand, brand new, brand new. And without and, throwing and you, rocks, you, and, you, you, you might think that this is like, this is like a th what we're talking about here is the thing of the past. These sorts of antics are being used right now. Right and, now. and again, without naming names, they're being used by some of the most well-known names in our profession. Right. Like shockingly. So like, I'm like, some of these names that are doing this, I'm like, you guys know better. Like, yeah. or at least you would hope that they would know better, but they you don't. would hope. Um, and before we, before I jump into this, you preface a funnel's job is to what? Filter at, among other things, filter, okay. but also help improve positioning. Right. So, right. so I mean the getting 50 leads in a week is great, but only if they're qualified. Right. I would rather have five qualified leads in a week than 50 that are right. unqualified. Right. Right. So, okay. Back to the story. So this is a direct quote from a, a, a testimonial. That, a testimonial. Yes. A testimonial that's being used in uh, a marketing campaign right now. Right. So it says in the last two weeks, I've done 139. I, I've like, it was like 200 and something emails, 139 appointments made, 29 showed, 10 consults, eight exams. And that's going to mean a whole bunch of money to me. He thought that was like a testimonial. Here's exactly what I thought. All right. My brain went here. And I hope you guys are catching on to this because this is not okay. Okay. I, that means to me, that's 110 no shows. That is 20% show rate. 110 people schedule on your schedule. You have time allocated for them and they don't show. 110 well, in let me, two let weeks. Me, let me ask you guys who are here on the webinar, how many of you would be okay with your team having a 20% schedule rate or show rate for people that, or show rate for people that schedule? Would any of you think that that is the least bit acceptable in your clinic? Yes or no? Would you be okay with your, your clinic getting a 20% show rate for exams scheduled people or even a consult people scheduling consults only 20% show up for the consult. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Negative. Yeah, exactly. Negative. Right. Here, here's what else. That, again, here's what else that means to me. That means 66% of people didn't even want to consult. Who the hell are they marketing to? <laughs> right. That emoji. Here's this guy's doing this. Like who the hell really, who are they marketing to? Listen. And at the end of the day, he talks about the bot, the punchline being, um, eight exams. Like that's the, Hey, two weeks, all that work, eight exams. Guess what? Exams do not equal conversions. Exams do not equal new patients. Right. Right. However, let's, let's kind of take a step back here for just a minute. Let's imagine. Okay. Play devil's advocate. Let's pretend that, that they landed all eight. Okay. Tell me this. Do you think a 5% conversion rate on a funnel? And by the way, that's not on the leads they got. That's yeah, on we'll, the appointments we'll, they made. Yeah, well, we'll assume 139 leads, but yeah, that's 139 yeah. appointments. So it's less than 5%. But is that five, okay? Five out of 139? Man. Or, a, or not, eight would out you, of eight are, out of Would you guys be excited? Let us know in the, in the box. Would you be excited about a funnel that produces a 5% conversion, conversion rate. rate? Yes or no? Total. And, and, and again, I'm, I'm not so naive as to think or to see that things filter. Right. Meaning like that, that it sure. doesn't, the, the end result isn't going to be as big as the starting result. I get that. Right. How much manual filtering is acceptable. Right. At the end of the day, if you have 110 people that don't show up, that's manual filtering. That's a major, major problem. That's a, that's a, well, I would say there are certain signals or signs, or even you can call it red flags along the way that should tell you something right. loud and clear. Right. 110 no shows says something very loud and clear. That's a signal. Right. And you should take note of that and you should really pay attention to that because that's telling you something. Right. That's so. right. Cool. All right. So here's the summary. Okay. At the end of the day, when it comes to offers, it is not about getting a bunch of leads. That's not what this, what's, that's not what funnels are, are all about. Right. It's not an everything must go situation. Right. That's not how we're positioning our business. That's not how we're positioning our brands. That's not what I would do if I were, you know, if I were running your clinic. Absolutely not. It's about getting the right leads. Yeah. Okay. Enough said. Do you guys, have you had this experience? Have any of you been running this campaign or any type of campaign and just run into the same types of issues? Let us know. Same like, frustration. Yeah, the same, same frustrations. Yeah. 
And I think a lot of people think, okay, it just doesn't work. It's all hype. It doesn't work. And I think that's the problem, right? Hopefully you guys see the problem and the connection here is how many of you get frustrated when people have a poor experience with chiropractic, or I should say a poor experience with a chiropractor, and then they, they lump chiropractic all together right. as that one negative experience. And they basically sign off, sign away and basically say chiropractic doesn't work. Right. You know, and we all know that's just not the case. That just means you had a poor experience with that individual. Right. But the right. same thing's happening right now with uh, a lot of these carpet baggers, right. That people yeah. are, um, well, and, and, and let me just uh, segue. So part two, the only two offers you'll ever need now. Before we, we jump into this, I feel it's, it's only fair and transparent for me to share. I have run these offers before. I have run the $21 crazy offer. I ran yeah. that. Like, I mean, uh, I haven't run it in years, like in a year and a half, but I have run it before. And if you guys want a free training on our philosophy on right. running cheap offers, we have one. It's called the, the, the why and how yeah. of offers, of of. of you know, and so we go into it. Basically, you can run discounted offers. There is a way to do it. That's right. Um, and there is a time to do it. Right. Um, but so most just do it as a, as a, you know, cheap lead generation strategy hack. Right. So the reason I tell you that is, is again, I get to see the results, boots on the ground of what actually happens. And so we were making offers like these and they weren't working. I was getting feedback, not only from Dr. Wolner, but from my other clients as well. It just wasn't working. Like it, too much, um, too much leg work, lead quality was terrible, all that kind of stuff. So when, when, um, when you get in that situation and it's not working, okay, you really have two choices. Okay. One is to quit and just, you know, stop all together. And two is to take a deep, hard look, deconstruct and look directly into the eyes of the problem. And that is what we've done, right? And it's all about, like, I had to answer this question. What is a good offer? What makes a good offer? Okay. So here's what we need. Here, here's what we know from, you know, all of our experience. Everyone offers, brings everyone, and that's not a good way to run your, your marketing or your business. Okay. However, what I found was niche offers actually attract qualified prospects, okay? So the whole entire process, the whole entire process going diving through that program or through all the problems here really let us define, hey, really when it comes down to it, there's two ways to make offers and we're going to show those to you right now, okay? So the two niche offers, do you guys want to see these offers? I mean, I'm pretty excited to see these offers. You guys, you're let us good. know. Let us know that you're breathing. Let us know you're alive. We're going to share with you guys some cool stuff. There's two, uh, uh, there's two styles of offers that we're going to share with you. All right, cool. Thank you very much. All right, cool. Let them yeah. rip. All right, awesome. All right, offer number one, okay? The NeoTrend offer, okay? Offer number two, the IV offer. Okay, obviously, we're going to show you what these, guys, what these things are. All right, so the NeoTrend offer. This one um, is a lot of fun, all right? Uh, you hear uh, people talk about red ocean, blue ocean, things like that, right? Uh, the real money, here's a problem. When things are in the middle, that middle space, that, uh, that red ocean, that means that the offers you're making are so boilerplate. They're me too offers. Nobody wants them, nobody values them, right? So really the $21 offer, not only is that like being used by everybody, but at the end of the day, it's boring. It's noisy. It's noisy, right? If, I mean, if they can just scroll on in their news feed and just wait for the next chiropractor to make it, they don't got it. There's no sense yeah. of urgency at all. Yeah. Okay. And then you have the other side of the spectrum where we get into what we call the crazy zone, where we get into like the weirdo zone or the two extreme zone. What might be some examples of the weirdo zone? You know, uh, without throwing any particular chiropractic techniques under the bus, sometimes chiropractors can get overly passionate about their particular technique, so much so to the, to the detriment of their ability to see things through the perspective yeah. of the lay public, right? right. And so what they might want to do is, um, you know, share some sort of, you know, really um, – very highly specific and or technique centric or specific uh, 
elements of the thing that they do. Yeah. And while it may be amazing and while it may actually get great results, it's maybe perhaps too much too soon without some proper education. It's too far on that side. It's um, too far out. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, another one. So uh, you, what about offering something like a colonic? Right. You know, right, exactly. it's not that there's no value there. Right. It's just, that's a little bit too extreme. Yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. Some sort of like weird detox or something like that, or, you know what I mean? Just, just things that people may not necessarily be ready to fully embrace yeah. just yet. Yeah, that's right. So, so the real money, the real money offers live somewhere in the middle. Okay. Right. They live in that purple area, that purple ocean. And, and let me just say, you also have on the other side, too extreme. And what I mean by that too is how many of you, uh, assuming you could get an ad approved on Facebook like this, <laughs> how many of you would lead in with a, hey, vaccines are horrible. Don't do vaccines. Come get your kid checked, you know, yeah. uh, to help us avoid your kid from you know, getting a vaccine or something like that. It's like, that's way too extreme in terms of, too extreme. you know, and, and, and again, I'm not saying this good or bad yeah, about vaccines. Your position that's on, on the subject doesn't matter. That's it's just it. that public perception right now is going to, it's a polarized. It's too situation. polarized. Yeah. It's too polarized. Right. Don't comment on like, don't get into gut, like, politics that's not your right. business's job right exactly right? We, we come come join us for a we hate donald trump special right <laughs> you know right that, that wouldn't work either so right? at the end of the day the real money is here in the middle okay now when it comes down to making neo trend offers there's really three things to bear in mind we're going to jump into each one of those right now but uh here here we go you ready so the first one is creating contrast okay creating contrast so Here's a good example. I love this image, by the way. I know. It's great. It the person great. who found it for me is a really smart person. That's true. Yeah, that's that right. True. So what would be an example of a lot of things, something right now that is extremely, extremely popular and going all over the place, right? Well, everybody's talking about stem cells. So right there, you guys see the big pool of stem cells, stem cells, stem cells, stem cells, stem cells. That's right. Okay. A neotrend offer, tactic number one is to do this. Dude, no stem cell. All right. Now, obviously, it needs to have positioning and truth, but you're gonna you can get attention merely by saying no stem cell. Yeah. Right. And and it may and or, or some variant of that. I would just simply clarify. Right. You want to create contrast in your marketing, right? In your message, right? We, and it may it may be not necessarily even no stem cell, but just not the kind they're talking about right. or not the way that they're talking about. Everybody else is doing this. What kind of way can you shift or position your messaging in such a way that it creates sufficient contrast, contrast right? You flip it in such a way that all of a sudden you're going against the, the kind of grain or the right. norm of the mainstream and all of right. a sudden that's going to stick out in a very good way like a sore thumb. It's going to stick out in a very good So creating contrast in a crowded market is really good. And uh, this next one is really important. So let's, well, hold on. Yep, go ahead. Does that make sense? Uh, let us know in the chat. Chat. Hopefully that makes like crystal clear, perfect sense. Creating contrast in your marketing and your offer. And it may not be stem cell. I mean, it could be, for instance, um, another example we could talk about is keto, right? Right. You could be the anti-keto person. Nope, don't do keto. That's the dumbest thing you could do or whatever. I'm not saying it is, right? But I mean, what, let's just list off for them right now. Maybe well, some I, actually did, I actually did a keto offer. And what we did was um, I had a client that was really well-versed in the ketogenic diet, okay? And I'm not well-versed in it. I just know enough to have written the ad. Um, but he essentially made a video and he said, what most people do, like the ketogenic diet is an amazing diet. However, people like are doing it wrong are completely doing it wrong and they're missing one big thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, what is that big thing? Right. Okay, it's so really good. That's a great point, right? So it's not necessarily an all out no keto. It's just right. the way that the mainstream is doing it. They're screwing it up. That's right. You know, so that's a great that's idea. Right. Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, so Brad, contrast. Brad says makes sense. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So contrast is part number one of this. All right, so neo trend uh, number two. So this is labeled pre and post, and you're going to see why here in just a second. So in any opportunity, in any new market, all right, there's really two things that are happening. Okay. You either got in front of the wave and you're riding it. Okay. You're doing good. Right. That was great. Good timing. Or you're post wave. Yep. You missed it. Yep. Okay. Here's what happens when people get post wave. They start doing this. Yep. Okay. 
they start doing the me too offers. Well, and I would even say that's not even necessarily missing it. That's being in the mix. You get crushed by the wave, right? Meaning what, what happens when you get crushed, uh, is you, you get, you get lost in the mix, right? Me we, too. When, when we, when we started doing stem cell marketing, like, I don't know, two and a half years ago or something like that, we literally could put up a non-surgical solutions to knee pain or joint pain. And I mean, it went wild, like wildfire. Yeah. Right. Anymore. Like you really have to position yourself with the, nuance the, it the right way. Yes. Yep. And I'm really excited to share with you guys today here in part three of this, how we do that. But just so you know, that's, that's kind of what we're excited for. Yeah. Um, okay. So anything left to add on the pre and post? No, just, I, I would simply say it's a good idea to constantly be looking at trends, looking, you know, really staying up on what are things that are, that people are starting to talk about things that are starting to generate buzz. Um, I guess the best way of putting it is maybe keeping your ear to the ground and, and really trying to tap into people who are thought leaders, who are ahead of the curve, mm -hmm. um, who can maybe give you some insights mm -hmm. into this. And if you, if you know, like if you're the type of person where you're like, I always feel like I'm left out of the party, you know, like <laughs> I always feel like I'm too late. Cause sometimes I feel that way, honestly, then, then, you know, your strength is not in pre it's in post. That's okay. You don't have yeah. to be in pre post wave means you look for things that no one else is talking about right. to create. I mean, you could create contrast with that, or you could just present or throw out an offer that no one else is doing because everyone else is focused right there that that leaves a wide open space for right. a lot of other opportunities that are there right so if right. you know i'm always behind okay that's fine then that's not your strength your strength maybe needs to be in post right that makes does that make sense guys yeah hopefully that makes sense cool all right so that is offer that's offer type number one all right and the punchline there is to make your offer different than anybody else and use things uh, like the, like, uh, you know, some sort of ketogenic supplement that is the right one would be good. Uh, you know, we've done, we've done like all sorts of supplements that speak to niche problems. We've done niche testing, like yeah. offer a niche test, things like that. Yeah. All right. So an inherent value. So the IV offer stands for inherent value. And when you look at it, okay, it really is comprised of two parts that kind of merge to to find common ground, okay? So the first part is the things you as a practitioner, the things you value, okay? Those things are important, okay? But And I'm gonna just add something here, yeah. and maybe I'm jumping the gun here and beating you to the punch, but the problem with a lot of offers is that's exactly where uh, chiropractors start and end. Right. I think spinal care is important. I think organic foods are important. I think wellness, and all sorts of features with right. my technology and technique and all this stuff are important. Therefore, right. that's what I'm going to lead with. Right. I think it's important. Right. So an example of that would be, hey, my, take my exam for $97. That's my offer. Well, and not even that. Uh, I would even say sometimes they say, look, there's this new technology. Look at this. It does this. It does right. this. It's got these you know, features. It's got right. this cool little thing. When you flip this switch, it does this, and it can measure electricity, and it can measure uh, this, that, or the other. It can do this thing. It gives right. this readout. We get this really fancy piece of paper here that's got all these cool colors and codes on it. It's amazing. Right. So, so the things that you as a practitioner – um, value, spinal care, organic foods, wellness, the features of the thing. You know, I, I talked to a lot of docs that are like really dialed, like really bought into their features and to a person that knows what's really happening. I appreciate that because yeah. I want my doctor to be well-versed in what, you know, in what they're doing. Yeah. The obviously. craft. Yeah. Right. Then you have the, um, our audience. These are our prospects. These are our prospective new patients that we want to come in and we want to solve their problems, right? They don't value the same things that we value. Because they don't see right. the way we see things. They and, don't see. And, and one of my biggest pet peeves, and excuse me, and sorry if docs like love this quote, but it drives me freaking crazy. There's a quote in our profession that we get like ingrained in since Cairo school or whatever. It's that if they knew what we knew, they'd do what we do. Yeah. Right. And I would argue that that is not the truth. If they knew what we knew, they'd be chiropractors. Right. They would have gone to school. But guess what? They're not. 
And so it's that whole, and I'm not saying that education isn't important and doesn't have a place. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm simply saying is that saying almost insinuates or implies that if, if you educate them sufficiently, all of a sudden they will see the world through your lens and they'll value what you value. No, and people are uh, egocentric, right. right? So really what people want, and we'll go through, people want simplicity. They want convenience, right? They want affordability. They want, in, and everything sums up, they want instant gratification. Yep. Okay. So you can get bothered by that or you can work with it, and, right? And, that, and that's the problem too. I think for a lot of docs, they want to dig their heels in based off of their principles, right? That we're not going right. to give that to them because that's not what they need. Right. And, and the whole idea is that there's middle ground there to where you can meet them halfway. And I think that's kind of the whole well, point of the inherent value. This was, part of, this was part of what I figured out, like going through and really deconstructing what they value, what we value, how to bring those things together. And really, at the end of the day, when you look at what both people, what both parties inherently value, Okay, there is common ground, right? And these are some examples. Um, you know, these aren't exhaustive lists by any means, but no, this is this just is, so that people can wrap yeah. their head around this type of thinking, right? And 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 do do understand that in order to get people to come, we need to give. Okay, so the things people value: feeling good, entertainment, results like just overall benefits. Okay. Yeah. So is this, is this making sense? If it's making sense, if you're like, quote unquote, getting it, hopefully you're getting it. Number one, number two, uh, is this giving you guys maybe perhaps a little bit of a paradigm shift that's right. going to help you moving forward in your marketing? Because I'm telling you guys, you start using this, it's going to dramatically improve your marketing efforts, right? Don't be shy. Co uh, just say yes in the chat box. Yes. We're getting it. We get it. Okay. Awesome. Right. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys. So at the end of the day, when we give first, when we find that common ground, okay, we're really like initiating, we're hacking something called reciprocity, the law yep. of reciprocity, which yep. uh, Robert Cialdini said, Hey, when you give, they give, right? Yeah. Like it's that, it's that inequity, right? That law of exchange. If you give, they have to reciprocate. Yeah. That's how we're geared. That's how we're wired. They're driven right? to reciprocate. Yeah. Um, I think this is helpful. One of the, one of the things, as far as like when you're visualizing like offer creation and things like that. Okay. Think of an in, uh, inherent value offer, like an actual IV. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the quickest, easiest, simplest, most convenient path of least resistance offer you can create, you can create. Right. Right. Um, what's the lowest hanging fruit. Okay. So here's a couple of examples of that. Okay. And I know you guys want to know examples, so we're going to jump right into that. So as far as yeah. the inherent value offer, I think a lot of docs obviously know a massage, both like people value a massage. It feels good. It's instant gratification. It's, you know, all, it basically feels it's quick. It's easy. It's simple. Everybody values that. Correct. Well, and I'll give you a, a, a very specific example of something we've tested over time and we've come to find doesn't pull or doesn't work as well. And it's not, you, you wouldn't in, intuitively think this, okay? It wasn't until after testing and us kind of looking deeper below the layers in terms of the psychology. We thought, uh, and we tried it several times and never did it really pull that well. It, it worked a little bit, but we tried gift cards, Yeah. okay? We tried gift cards to various places, gift certificates, gift cards. Why do you not think, or why do you think that didn't work as well as these other things, like something like a massage or something like an adjustment or an actual tangible gift? It was abstract. Right there, so. It wasn't like real. You know, it's like, hey, here's an open Well, not, e not even abstract. Yes, that, but, but with a gift card compared to a massage, what do they have to do to use said right, gift card? no effort. Right? With a massage, right. they, they have to lay on a table. They have to lay there passively. Like, who can <laughs> lay on a table? Like, any, I, you know, I'd love to lay on a table and get a massage right now. Right. With a gift card, I have to drive to the location. I have to think about it. I have to pick out whatever it is that I want to buy. There's still a lot of work, even though that sounds crazy, uh, requires them to go somewhere and do something. Yep, exactly. Yeah, right? That's like, exactly if you right. Ask, if you ask people to do too much, yeah. And it's so that's ridiculous. the thing. I always, in terms of like the gives, in terms of an inherent value offer, I always think 
is this going to be easy for them to do? Is it going to be something where they are going to perceive that, that the instant they get it, did I just buy work or did I, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Did I just did buy I, some a problem? Buy, here? Yeah, exactly. All right. So, all right, cool. So, uh, Massage, adjustment, tangible gift, therapeutic services. I know you do PEMF therapy. PEMF, uh, low-level light therapy, low-level laser therapy. Right. And we're going to talk about how to structure these two that way. Because yeah. if I just say, hey, here, have some PEMF Go therapy, it. <laughs> it's not going to mean anything to everybody. Yeah. All right. At the end of the day, a good offer must have something that they value and something that you value. Yeah. Right? We're talking good old give and take. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it is. Like we're, we're, we're hacking reciprocity. That's what this thing really boils down yep. to. Cool. Yep. All right. You ready to move on to the ROI machine, I'm buddy? I'm ready. All right. Part three, the proven ROI machines, our top performing ads and offers. This is what everybody has wait, been waiting for. You guys, are you guys excited? We're like uh, 51 minutes into this thing. We're going to, we're, we're going to do this thing right now. Deliver the juice. We're doing it. All right. So, Every, every marketing business out there, or every business out there, as a marketer, I am looking for one thing, a marketing control. What is a marketing control? Okay. A marketing control is a piece, whether it's a funnel, whether it's a written, like, you know, people actually do, still do direct mail. It's, so it's a letter, it's a sales letter, it's a VSL, a video, whatever it is. My piece of marketing content has a proven long-term result that is acceptable for me to generate new leads at will. The operative term we're looking for here is predictability. Right. Is it predictable? Right. So, you know, if we don't, if we don't have that, then what are we doing? Experimenting, wasting money, we're wasting hoping. time, hoping. <laughs> yeah. That's hope marketing. Yeah. Okay. And hope marketing, frankly stated, is what most people do. Well, and, and, can I be perfectly frank with everybody here for your guys' benefit? I do a lot of hope marketing. Right. Because until, that's how I figure out. Yeah, but until, until we find a control. Until we, yeah. until we get a control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once we have a control, it is no longer hope marketing. Yeah. Right? All right. So we've established that, right? So here's what we really want. We need a proven and repeatable system. And it cannot be giving away the farm. We can't, we don't, that's, that's not group on ads. That won't work. Yeah. Okay. We can't use copy and paste stuff for obvious reasons, okay? And we can't have anything that requires a ton of heavy manual filtration, right? It's yeah. okay if the funnel does it. Yep. Automation, that's okay. Yep. But it's not okay if we have to fill up our schedule and basically like have 50 no-shows weekly. Yeah. 50 no-shows weekly. How, how would that be for your clinic? Well, I mean, just think of the time that is required to have to call those individuals, follow up with them. They're not just getting called once, no. at, at least if you're at my clinic. You know, we, we have a pretty consistent and pretty um, right. aggressive follow-up system in place. So right. yeah, that's a lot of my, my time, my, so my team's time. So the big question is, is that even possible? All right. So the, the reason we're here today, one of the reasons we're here today, obviously is people were asking about all these offers. And so I actually went through with my partner, Jacob, and I went through and I wanted to know what are the highest ROI, ROI is what I care about, right? What are the highest ROI funnels that we run, okay? And unequivocally, we came down to one funnel, one funnel. And here it is. Them all. Here it is. Here is the winner for 2019 and 2018 and 2017 and 2020. I'm guessing. I mean, I can't see the future, but it is the niche workshop funnel. Or I call it a dinner funnel. I call it a dinner funnel. Yeah, you just kind of still you make it Sorry. sound not very nice. No, no, no. What, what, no, what I mean by that is, I, I guess I, I had a story in my head. There was a there was a doc who we both know who um, will go unnamed. He messaged me on Facebook a couple months back, said, "What's the best funnel for getting uh, disc herniation patients right. through the door?" And I said to him, "The dinner funnel, hands down, hands down, the dinner funnel." And he said, "I don't want to do dinners." And I said. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what 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 else can I say? All right. All right. If you don't want to do it, then you 
you don't want to get the results. It's kind of so. Okay. What's interesting is the dinner funnel all by itself. Th this dinner funnel is not your typical dinner. Yeah, funnel. it's not, and that's the right? thing. I sell it short by basically saying oh, dinner funnel because what that does that conjures up images of an Eventbrite page. The right. end. Right. Sign up for our dinner, Eventbrite. So, so like every every funnel has something we call throughput. Okay, meaning. Okay, we hit a control, everything works. Cool, we can go to the next control. Yeah. We hit a control, wait, this doesn't work. So now we have less throughput. So I'm gonna walk you guys through our steps, like each one, and we're gonna deconstruct them. We're gonna show you what the ad looked like. I know you wanna see that, it's pretty fun, um, and how it worked. But it's really important for you to understand how we go from uh, like one, two, three, four. Each one of those are controls, or steps in the funnel that must be like dialed in. Right. And this doesn't happen just by, Hey, let's, let's throw us together and like maybe guess like this happens through iteration, right? Testing, retesting. So, um, we're going to go through this. I'm going to walk you through this. So step number one is the IV offer. Step number two is expert by, uh, expert by default presentation. Step number three is the Neo trend offer. And step number four is the expert exam. And below you see a green arrow that starts at one and extends to four. And it says advance the cell. Okay. And the reason that advanced the cell is there is because at no point in like in the IV offer, our job is not to make the cell. Right. This is a distinction I think is really important. Like marketing's job is not to make a sale. Marketing's job is to advance a sale to a sale. Yeah. Okay. So uh, step number one, let's jump right into this thing. All right. So the, uh, so here, what is the IV offer? Okay, what is the inherent value offer that we're making in this, in this proven control? A good meal is something everybody values, yes or no? Yes. I like food. Do you like food? I love food. I like food, okay? You know I love food. It's a very simple, non-threatening, natural way to advance the sale, okay? The secret here, okay, this is the secret, okay? Because I know a lot of docs out there have done maybe workshops or, or, or dinner workshops and they didn't pan out, right? It's just like real estate, location, 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 right? If you um, do it at Denny's, who's going to show up? Denny folks. Nothing wrong Denny's with Denny folks. folks. Lenny's folks. Remember those commercials? <laughs> Lenny's? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with Denny's folks. However, if these are niche problems like neuropathy, diabetes, stem cell, thyroid, do those get fixed for 500 bucks? Are you guys fixing them for 500 bucks? Are you running your business that way? No, right? We're going to jump into some, some numbers here. Don't you call it cheeseburger tra traffic? Is yeah, that cheeseburger what traffic. Cheeseburger. I think Russell calls it that. Oh, that's what he called cheeseburger right? traffic. So here is, uh, here is what we do here at uh, Chad's Clinic. So this is Chad's event. Chad was cool enough to give this image to me. This is our offering. All right, I'm going to show you the ad here in just a minute so you well, can see it. And, and I would say one of the coolest things, and please don't take what I'm about to say as me being the least bit superficial because I'm not. I really am not. But it was really powerful because this group was a really, really high caliber group of people. This was, uh, we had over 20, 23 people, I think, at this dinner. And what was interesting was that we saw a BMW pull up, we saw a Cadillac pull up, we saw a Toyota pull up, uh, we, you know, Corolla, we saw, right. uh, or Camry or something, you know what I mean? We saw, uh, we, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just, a, it was a really, really solid group of people, yeah. people that either had jobs or were retired from good jobs, um, people that were qualified to be there. How you would know? you guys like to have those types of people at your events? Yeah. Right. How, what would that be like? Make so, a huge difference. So here in this case, we're bringing them to uh, Dr. Warner's black ops center, which is a conference area. He brings in catered food. Okay. Yep. And here is how we get them. You guys want to well, see? And, and before oh, oh, I, yep, before I do that, let me just tell you a true story here. I'm going to take off my headphones and I'm going to point at the screen real quick. Okay. This guy right here. Okay, they don't see, uh, they don't see, well, yeah, they do. Okay, so it's the guy in the blue hat on the right side of the screen. Yeah. Okay. That guy right there. This is, this is what, what correct targeting and traffic and funnel, all this working, culminating together. He was, uh, he was uh, 15 minutes into the presentation, maybe 20 minutes uh, before it was even ended. He walked up to Amanda, my assistant. I don't care what it costs, sign me up. 
that's what he said. That's, that's, that's the exact that's, that's she's like, bad. She's like, well, okay, but let me just explain. You know, he's like, I, I don't care. Just sign me up. I, I know I want to do this. All right. Okay. So cool. <laughs> you twist my arm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So when it comes to the IV offer, okay, the IV offer, we're still in that section. Here is what the ad looks like. Okay. So we're making a, the ad copy invites them to a free dinner. Okay. Um, we have a very nice image. Now we have kind of a, a, a neat, tricky little way that we do these particular ads. It's kind of like our own proprietary thing. Um, but at the end of the day, these ads produce very well, right? And um, we are consistently bringing in leads sub 20 bucks. Yeah. Right? So at the end of the day, that math works. Yep. Right? So this is what the ad looks like. This was one of our top performing ads for uh, at least Dr. Wilner's plus other uh, dinner workshops that we've done. Um, this is what it looked like. I mean, is it possible to, to lessen and even... Uh, and neuropathy without drugs. That's the hook, right? And then the offer, the IV, the thing that people offer is dinner and information. Cool? It's pretty cool. You guys, is that awesome? I mean, hopefully, hopefully you can kind of see. Simple, straight line, very transparent. I mean, very simple. All right. So as we move forward, I want you to understand every rung, every part of this pipeline has its own control. Okay. 20 bucks is where we want to be. That's our goal. Okay. Now we have cool, some cool things. Some, I mean, we don't have time to do that all today. You guys can't be on here for hours and hours and hours. Uh, we have other things like traffic stacking, um, targeting, all that kind of stuff that, you know, we talk about, but at the end of the day, we're trying to get a $20 lead. All right. Expert by default. This is, this plagues every person, myself included. Okay. Most people want to talk about how amazing their thing is, right. right? Like they get up and they just say, oh, like whatever it is, like we're all excited about my Facebook ads. My Facebook ads are so amazing. Who cares? You guys don't honestly care about my Facebook ads. You really don't. Okay. How are those going to help me? That's exactly right. What's that going to do for me? Right. The expert presentation delivers a ton of value in advance. That's the first thing. And then a small ask afterwards. Okay. So let me actually not be, you know, like theoretical on what value is. Let's kind of deep dive and deconstruct what is value education or better awareness of a particular problem. Okay. Of their problems, of your audience's problems, neuropathy, thyroid, diabetes, stem cell, right? Autoimmune, you know, anything oh. like that. Okay. Research and facts about that problem that like basically teach them new things. Okay. Stories that make new solutions relatable. Stories are the vehicle inside of your presentation. Stories are the vehicle that give these people the belief that they can also get the result, yeah. right? Because it's one thing for, uh, for you, Dr. Willard, to tell me, hey, funnels work for you, right? But if you can relate a story that makes me believe that they work for me too, yep. then that is, the, that is the, the vehicle I need to take action, yeah. right? And your goal is to get them to take action. So stories that have, um, that make, these your solutions that you're sharing relatable are, are uh, important unbiased discoveries about your new solutions i think that speaks for itself right if you guys have something cool uh you know be don't be subjective like make sure that you provide hard proven facts don't leave anything to guessing don't leave anything to doubt make sure that you educate these people okay so at the end of the day what we're looking for is about 80 percent education and value up front okay and then a 20% ask, okay? Here's something to, to, to bear in mind. And if you've ever felt like, oh man, all I do is like sell people on whatever it is I do. I know you didn't go to school, you know, as a chiropractor, you did not go to school to be a sales, yes or no? We did not. You did not, right? And I know many people feel like they are in the position of a salesman, okay? People who sell are salesmen. People who share solutions are experts, okay? Who would you rather buy from? Who would you rather buy from? An expert. An expert, right? An expert, right? So the control in part number two is make sure that your, uh, that your presentation, okay, is slanted, tilted in their favor significantly in 80-20. Cool? The Neo Trend Offer. We talked more about Neo Trend Offers, and we kind of left it a little bit of a cliffhanger. We, you know, I know you guys wanted to see that. Um, well, 
we're going to share it with you now. Okay. So these in your presentation, you're going to share a lot of cool new stuff with them. They're going to learn stuff. They're going to learn stuff about their own body, about how it works, about new breakthroughs, about supplements, about all sorts of cool, you know, breakthroughs that can, that create new belief and what comes with new belief, new desire. Yep. Right. So you want to make sure that your uh, presentation tees up what we call a, an offer stack. Yeah. Okay. So here's kind of what we're looking at. And these are some, uh, again, you guys, we've educated you on what a Neotrend offer. And the reason we did that was if we had just jumped to this, okay, do a Nervex pain relief cream, PMF therapy, and exam for 47 bucks. It wouldn't like, there's the fish. Right. Right. So these are examples. These are not hard and fast. If you understand the principles behind these things, you can replicate, you can create, you can cut and paste. You right. can edit and tweak and, and make it your own. That's right. Like, so, seriously. so Nervex pain relief. I mean, that's, that's a cream. Okay. It's a cream that gives, that has a, I don't know. Is remember. there such a thing called Nervex? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't even know. Yeah, no, there is. Um, I don't remember what the active ingredient is, but uh, anyway, you would educate on what the active ingredient was and Hey, how'd you like to get this? Yeah. Would this be cool? By the way, by the way, we'd like to give you a free bottle. Right. Here's how it works. Come in for your evaluation. Yeah. Uh, joint support. So I think, is it, is it glucosamine? That is the... Glucosamine and or chondroitin. Okay. So those are like, a lot of people don't know about that. Yeah. Educate them on it and then make them an, an offering. All right. You're not going to ruin your positioning because what are you doing? You're advancing the sale. Well, and, and when it comes to supplements, I would argue that probably most chiropractors are fairly well-versed with Absolutely. supplements, number one. But number two, probably most chiropractors have their go-to supplement line or supplement rep mm -hmm. that they can get a lot of this info from. And so I would say really geek out on the supplements with one specific caveat. And that is don't geek out to the point that you're only talking features, talk the benefit, right? So talk about the feature, geek out on it. You know, this joint support formula, what's really incredible is it has a specific enzyme in it that activates this one thing in your body that does this thing. So basically what that means to you is that that means uh, less inflammation. It means it's going to provide more cushioning and support for the joint. It's going to do, you know, so what that means is you're going to be able to stand and move and have better mobility, less pain. Oh, okay. I see how yeah. that is going to benefit me. Those cool features now tied down to a so what or the benefit right. to them, right? Right. With each of these things. Yeah. And, and you notice when I, when I mentioned earlier the stack, right? It's, we're not just going to offer them the Nervex pain relief, right? We're going to offer them that. Plus a couple it with kind of a solution. Yeah. Make it, a, we don't want to give them, sell them a product. We want to provide for them an offer. Yes. Okay. And an offer is like a stack. That's, that's more things than just one. They look at it, they're like, oh, that's really comprehensive. And right. that, that increases the value, right? So here, what they want is the Nervex pain relief and the PEMF therapy. What we want in it is an exam. Yeah. Okay. That's our vehicle to help them. Yes. All right. So, uh, and then a functional test for thyroid. Uh, I know thyroid has a lot of testing options. Like if you're doing Hashimoto's or whatever it is, like if you're testing thyroid, um, I know we've had a lot of docs do different tests, but yeah, that's an example of, these are all examples of Neotrend offers. You guys, well, and does and this and make sense? And, and again, the like thing you, that I would say yeah. is in your dinner, you, you, you increase their desire for said functional test in your education. Exactly. That's a critical component of the thing. We first, first step is we got to get that test, blah, 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 blah. And then the simple question at the end of the seminar, workshop, dinner, whatever you want to call it is how many of you would like to find out if you know, yeah. if we could, how many of you would like this test? Find out, you know, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, how would you like you to know? get this test? How would yeah. you like to get this supplement? Here's what we're going to do tonight is we're going to offer you this test absolutely free or yep. at a discount or normally we charge this. Yep. Um, free is better, I think. We have one clinic free. that collects $500 the night of the event. Yeah. That's crazy. The, they're dialed in, right? Well, and it's all about desire. It's if all you, about if desire. If you increase their desire sufficiently, they'll do it. Cool. All right, let's move on. I know we don't have all night here. Okay, so here is what we want. That Neotrend offer, and I hope you guys can see how IV offers and Neotrend offers in this particular funnel work together. Okay, so that IV offers advances the sale. Their expert presentation advances the sale. Now we've got what we want. Now, yours is better than this, but I wanted to give you guys a very realistic conversion rate, a 50%, okay, conversion rate. That means your Neotrend offer uh, is, is accepted by 50% of the people at your event. Okay. Yeah. I think you guys do 
considerably we're, we're better easily now. above that. But worst case scenario, 50%. yeah. Let's be let's be consi- uh, yeah. Con- uh, conservative. Yeah. All right. The expert exam. Now, one of the reasons I wanted you on here today is because I knew I was going to to be teaching this. I don't do expert exams. That's not my job. That's not my, not my capacity. But you are a ninja, and so we kind of like. You agreed to kind of share some of your stuff. Well, and, you? and again, I'm sure many of you uh, are, are very skilled at doing exams. Many of you have your own way of doing things. And so rather than me trying to give you and try and, you know, yeah. one size fits all approach, we're going to give you two keys to this, two secrets cool. to a solid exam. Cool. Okay. Whatever, whatever type of exam you do. Uh, number one, the secret to an expert exam, provide irrefutable objective evidence. Okay. This is what we call holding up the mirror in front of them. Right. And so what I mean by this is far too often what I've found, and this is not dogging docs who uh, use surface EMG or thermography, but they stack everything on top of like that one thing or one other thing. Right. To me, irrefutable objective evidence is multiple tests. So figure out what, you know, battery of tests you can run that really provide objective evidence because what you don't want is and and where things i think in the exam can go awry is when you don't sufficiently provide objective evidence what that does that leaves it now to a battle of subjective opinion yeah right their opinion and their reality versus your opinion and your reality well and the opinion of the people around them their right exactly family that's exactly right and so with objective evidence um and and it's going to be a little bit different for everybody but again the way i would put it is uh, getting a sufficient battery of tests to then hold up the mirror and show them that it's yep. irrefutable, right? Yep. So, you know, um, there's a, again, there's a variety of different things you can do, whether you're doing lab tests, whether you're doing functional tests, whether you're doing physical performance tests, whether you're doing high tech, uh, various technologies, maybe it is surface EMG and thermography co- uh, uh, coupled with other things, but I wouldn't just hang your hat on one specific thing, you know, right. uh, digital x-ray and imaging is going to be a powerful part of that as well. And so what that does, that allows you to really give them a comprehensive look in the mirror so that they can change their reality and have maybe a new uh, yep. paradigm shift or reality in terms of like, okay, this is where things really are not where I think they ought exactly. to be. Exactly. So that's part number right. one. Part number two is find their emotional why. Um, and really at the end of the day, uh, if you guys want to know how I do this, it's really, you might think it's not terribly elegant, but it's very kind of straight and to the point and to the, you know, cut to the chase. What I say with my patients is, look, um, after I've done the exam, I say, look, if there's one thing I know, uh, or if there's two things I know in working with patients, I've been doing this for over a decade. I've come to find, number one, people have an infinite capacity to self-sabotage. Uh, people will, given, g- given the option, people will always choose the path of least resistance, which is never the right choice. They'll always choose the easy wrong over the more difficult right. Um, and so that being said, when patients do make the choice that they make, it's usually based off of emotion, not based off of logic. Right. And so I say this, I literally say this to my patients and they get it and they agree. They're like, yeah, that's true. And I say, so, you know, and we'll typically have them fill out some sort of a, a questionnaire ahead of time take forms, yeah. to, to, to give us an idea of what their goals are. And then we'll hammer home. What are your specific goals? What's your emotional why? And I'll even say that, like, what's your why? What does that look like? And I'll really probe with them deep uh, rather than try some sophisticated like communication hack or anything like that. I'll just cut to the chase and just ask them, what's your why? What is the thing? If we could wave a magic wand, fast forward in the future, paint for me the most perfect scenario, what would that look like to you? What do you want to get back to? Right. What are you, what is this problem that you're dealing with preventing you from doing? Is it, is it spending time with loved ones, grandkids, kids, uh, a spouse, significant other? Is it some sort of a hobby or an activity? Is it, what is it, you know? And, and they'll be able to paint that picture for you. Yeah. And that's what you glue everything back to. Your objective findings are the logic, quote unquote, but that logic is going to yeah. be supportive of that why, right? You they'll need to buy be- based off of that emotion and then yes. they'll justify the decision based off of the logic that you provide. Correct, correct. Perfect. Okay. All right, cool. Let's keep going. All right, so in that exam, it's not, this is not crazy, by the way. I mean, an 80% conversion after going through that. Per- Absolutely. I mean, you guys, you guys are doing better than this. I think so. And I, I mean, 80% to convert an 80% on that exam is not a difficult thing. Yep. Okay. All right, cool. So how about some math? Let's, do Let's it. look at now that we understand what controls are at every step. I want to actually put some real math to this. That way you guys can see why this is the number one ROI funnel 
of all, okay? So if we look at it in terms of the goal, okay? 20 bucks a lead, we get 50 leads, that's a thousand bucks. Easy math, right? Expert by default, that means that, um, you know, in our presentation and, you know, that's the goal there, but our goal here is to get 50%, I'm sorry, 60% uh, of that 50. So we want 30 people in attendance, okay? Not hard to do, we do it all the time, right? Of that, we're saying a 50% conversion rate, 15 appointments, okay? And of those 15 appointments, we say we land 12 new patients. Far-fetched? No, not at all. Not at all. And I mean, not only do we see it with Dr. Woolner, uh, but we see it with a whole bunch of other patients too. Now, let's really deconstruct this, okay? So you put a thousand bucks in and you walk out with 12 new niche patients. Now, mind you, this funnel is called the niche new patient funnel, right? Niche, okay? We're not doing this to everybody. We're doing this for specific problems. Laser focused. Namely, uh, neuropathy, thyroid, di type two diabetes, stem cell, autoimmune. Um, am I leaving anything out? There's a reason why they say there are riches and niches. Riches in the niches, right? Okay, so you, won, you invested 1K in your marketing, okay? That leads to about 80, 85 bucks per qualified patient. Qualified patient. That's a lot different than what we were looking at back in, you know, no filter. Right. No filters. Right. In, right. So average niche patients. Now I get data from you. I get data from a lot of people. You guys, if you're in the niches, you know what your patient value is. But I feel like it's very safe to say in these niches, it is extremely conservative and I can like say with a ton of authority 3000 bucks for that patient is very like reasonable doable. Yeah. very doable yeah right that's 36 grand 36 grand that's why it's the top 1000 in invested in ads well and 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 let's even double or triple that you know cuz we're stacking some things now we're we're adding right. in some extra traffic sources as right. well to kind of sweeten the pot to to increase the lift of things right. which we could dive into later, but uh, say 3,000. Let's just do it for the sake of that. 3,000 in, 36K back. Yeah, still. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, when does, the, the math makes sense. This yeah. is why this is the ad. This is the offer. This There's is a the huge funnel. margin of error that's available to you. That's the big thing that I try and teach people is that when, right. you, when you play with minimal numbers, small quantities, low numbers, yeah. and try and play the volume game, uh, you don't have the it's margin. very dangerous. Yeah, it is because you don't have the margin of error that you have with this. When you have a larger right. margin of error, again, cut the uh, cut the math in half. Well, and not even right? yeah, cut cut the math in half and increase your uh your spend so that docs really can get a grasp of like right. okay, thirty six thousand. Okay, that's probably not something I could even do. Okay, that's fair. Get get six of them. That's eighteen thousand dollars right there. Yeah, eighteen thousand dollars. And let's say you put in four thousand dollars to get that eighteen thousand dollars. The yep. math still works. The math still, still works. works when, especially when you consider everything else. Right. Right. All the other expenses and everything else. Like Again, this, this, is, this is after going through all of our results. This is the one, you guys. At the end of the day, it's amazing. Uh, it, it is an amazing funnel. from it, Now, the way we do it, it didn't like pop out the result, these results overnight. This is through, again, iteration, testing, fixing each step of that way. You know, and just making sure that it, that it worked out, okay? So at the end of the day, here is what the niche workshop funnel is all about. It is the small hinge. When you think in terms of what it really is, yeah, it's a small hinge that swings a wide door, a large door for your practice, right? It can really change what you guys are doing. Any, any words, I mean, anything to add to that? No, you said it. Awesome. You said it all, man. So you guys, has this been valuable so far? Like really... I has wanted this, to has share. It's been helpful. Has this? Yeah, uh, I wanted to share like how it works and then what it is. Is this? Has this been valuable? Good stuff. That's what we got. Okay, good Anybody stuff. Anybody else? Any other thoughts? Has this been valuable? Yes. No. Has this been worth your while? Great. Awesome. Good. Awesome. So good. good. Just a quick recap. I want to just now because I know we've been here for a while. When we're almost done. Uh, this is what we've covered. Okay, we've covered the, obviously the niche funnel, what works, why most offers don't work, the two offers, NeoTrend and IV offers that do, okay, that you can use time and again, the new patient machine and our top performing ads and offers, okay? Now, 
let me ask you this. Can you see how this would actually impact and change your practice? Can you see that? Okay. Do you see how this could actually change everything for you? Okay. Imagine, did you have something you want to add to that? We had a comment. Is there going to be a handout? I didn't take notes. They oh, said, yeah, I've got some stuff coming for you uh, here at the end. We'll, we'll let yeah. you know what to do. Okay. Thanks David. Um, so imagine this, imagine never having to rely on crazy offers. Okay. All right. And at the end of the day, we know what that does, right? Yeah. That floods your practice with crazy people. Yeah. I say unqualified people in, in the text, but it's crazy people, right? What would an extra $36,000 do for your practice? And you know what? Again, those numbers, we went through those numbers. Those are controls that we're using. Now, we didn't get there overnight. Didn't happen overnight. But we are consistently and predictably doing that across the board. But what well, if? And, 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 yeah. and I would say, too, um, you know, I, I, it's, it's taken me some time in this to, sure. to refine this process in my practice. Um, but we're, you know, we're projecting here very, very soon in, in pretty short order now that we've got things way more dialed in. Um, you know, you guys have the benefit of kind of gleaning wisdom from my mistakes and my yeah, experiments. You really do. You know? uh, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're on track and on pace to just from niche offers, our, we'll put it to you this way. Our goal is to bring in roughly about 80,000 a month from niche offers just by itself. Yep. Um, that's just, the yeah, niche, that's not anything else. Right? In your practice. Anything else. Uh, yep. Everything else in our practice should result. Our goal and our target is to be somewhere in the ballpark of around 120 to 140,000 a month is where yep. we hope to be. Right. That's where we're not there yet. I'm just being totally transparent, but we're, we're close. We're getting there. Right. Well, and, and, you know, we, again, we went through this funnel and we did already say, Hey, you know, even if you got half of those, okay. The long game, the long run, you're going to do better than that. But 18,000. Yeah. What would 18, what would an extra 18,000 do? do for your practice? What would that do for you? I mean, here's the deal. I'm absolutely confident that everyone here could succeed with what we've taught you. Like if we have like shown you how to like create the offers, what the offers are, the process from start to finish, how to think how the to, right way. Yes. How to, yeah. how to think the right way. Right. It would require some hard work, right? You're not going to walk in and say, Hey, I got this thing figured out. But, but what we've taught you, if you just implement these strategies, you could absolutely change your practice. And there forever. are going to be some on this webinar. That's their deal. They're like, yep, I'm going to take this. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to yeah. go and I'm going to do. Yeah. Way to go, man. Do and it. That is, that is awesome. However, if you would like to see how you could get these results a lot faster, okay, here is um, what I would like to, what I would propose, okay? What if you worked with somebody that knew how to take away a lot of the heavy lifting, right? What if you worked with us, okay? What if we could make it dead simple and super easy for you to start this process, refine it, and get it moving for your practice, right? The same way we've been doing for Dr. Wilner, right? What if we could do that for you, okay? But before we go any further, I do want to let you guys know, like, at the end of the day, I'm happy to have everybody here. We are a, uh, an agency that wants to help everybody. Unfortunately, we cannot, okay? So we can't work with everybody. Here is who we work with. This is like the people that really resonate with us, that really, you Get know. the most value. Yeah, and when we're, we're, when we're singing off the same sheet of music, it works, Yeah, absolutely. right? So we want practices that want to go to the next level, right? Some people are, are cool with like the status quo, and that's fine. You don't need marketing for that. Status quo? you know, stick with what you got docs that are ready to follow a proven model and see the big picture. Nothing is more frustrating than saying, Hey, this is how you do it. And then, and you know, them saying, no, I'm going to do it this way. Reinvent the wheel, reinvent the wheel, man. We have figured it out. Right. At the end of the day, I need people who are coachable. I'm not, I, I will absolutely always take feedback, but what we have figured out works. Right. And it might not work for you the very first time because there's nuances and things that you have to experience for yourself. And once you do, you're like, ah, I get it. I see how it works, right? And those who are not afraid of creating new offers and ditching the status quo. If you are, if you are like, if you've been making the same types of offers, like, hey, a free consultation or whatever, you know, you got you to gotta jump over and start creating audi or audience specific offers, right? And at the end of the day, docs who know the value of real marketing, okay? 
I don't want something that is fly by night, cheap plug in. And you know, when, you know, if, if I die, your practice sinks, yeah. you know what I mean? I want you to stick around. Okay. So here's what we usually find. Okay. We find two camps. Okay. Typically people fall into one of two buckets, right? Camp number one is like, Hey, listen, I have a lot more time and maybe less financial resources, right? For you, I hope this training has been really beneficial that you guys will take this, make all your notes, like real, and go, go back with a plan to see what you can do, yeah. right? Um, then we have the other camp, right? That's the person that really has a lot more time and less money, right? They, a lot, lot more money and less time. Sorry, a lot more money and less time, <laughs> right? Uh, these are people that are looking for real growth. They want to build true momentum in their practice and they want a strategy to do that. Okay. So if that is you, the people we typically work with are the people in camp too. As much as we'd like to work with everybody, we're no different than you guys. Right. Yeah. Our got to have people that can afford what you do. That's right. That's absolutely right. So here is what we would offer to you. Okay. We would like to offer to you something we call, is it the, is the title not showing up there? No. Where is it? This is called, <laughs> there is a title that's supposed to be here, a blueprint uh, console. Okay. So the blueprint console is something we do to really help dial you in and see where you're at. Here's what it is not. Okay. A lot of people, Oh, you know, they just want to get on a call and sell us. No, this is not a thinly veiled sales pitch. Okay. This is not a, Hey, I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to beat your marketing up. I'm going to beat the hell out of your website until you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I know it's bad. Okay. I get it. You know, I understand. I that's up. not what this Here's thing is money. all about. Okay, so that's what this isn't. All right, let's jump. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the new patient blueprint console. All right, it's got some buttons. Okay, here we go. All right, so here is exactly what we'll cover in the new patient uh, uh, blueprint console. Okay, we want to understand what niche you're currently working in. Okay? Or working, going after, or, or trying to. Right? Or trying to go after whether you're succeeding or not. Maybe you are getting some success, but you really want to start seeing more of the results like we're getting. Okay, we want to go over your current offers. Look at what you're doing, okay? We wanna be transparent and like show you what's working, okay? So if you give us some feedback and we say, hey, you know, we really seen that this works better, okay? We wanna do that. And really at the end of the day, what doesn't work? Sam hey, would know. I, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know that, I don't many other people that have the same experience across the country as I do as far as what works where and what doesn't. I'm seeing a very broad, a very broad swipe of the, yeah. Right. Swaths. Broad so, swath. If that is something you guys are interested in, here's what we're actually going to build for you. We're going to build a niche marketing blueprint. So you'll hop on a console with me. We're going to do this. We're going to really, it's a marketing console. We're going to actually build a blueprint. Okay. This is something that you'll be able to use. Something that you'll say, okay, cool. I know where to start. I know how to go after my result. At the end of the day, this is for you to use regardless of whether or not you decide to work with me and my agency or not. Obviously. We hope you do. Yeah. Like, you know, one of the reasons we provide value here today, I mean, to be completely frank and transparent is to get, you know, to get clients. You bet. And we know that clients, uh, a lot of the clients want the right education. They want the right team working with them. And so our philosophy is, hey, you know, even if you don't work with us, you take that blueprint call. At least you're better call. educated and you're better prepared to know what to look for if you're going to choose a different agency. Yeah. And if you're working with an agency, and you say, hey, install this blueprint, and they say, we're not, we can't do that? Okay, well, it works, yeah. so you can come back <laughs> to us. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, here's something really important I want you guys to understand. That blueprint call is amazing. Uh, it's really, it's, it's a game changer. I have a lot of fun doing them. I enjoy helping people and looking at their problems and showing them how we can fix them, okay? But we are a done-for-you service, okay? We are limited on the amount of clients we can take. Okay. So at the end of the day, if you know, a guy that is everything to everybody can help nobody. Right. Yeah. So we do keep a, a niche, uh, I mean, a small portfolio of patients. Okay. We're not Clients. trying. Yeah. Patients. It's been a long <laughs> webinar. <laughs> We're not trying to get 200 uh, clients. Okay. We're trying to just really help and dial in people's campaigns and get them the result. Okay. So Anything you want to say about that? You know, uh, I would just echo what uh, what Sam has shared in in that um, they are more they would be considered kind of more of a boutique style agency yeah. in the sense that Custom. they're not they're not trying to do the um, you know the volume 
right. approach. They're really trying to give their clients the individual attention um, that they need and require. Um, and for those docs who um, who are, are, are looking for an agency that knows what they're doing, yeah. uh, you can't find a better agency, truly. Yep, so. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So yeah. how about a little proof? Well, you just heard it from Dr. Wolner. I mean, I think he said when it comes to traffic, I only use uh, this company. They, you've been working with us for years. There's your quote right there. That and my <laughs> own traffic that I can scrounge up whenever I can. So that's, that's true. Sometimes experiment that's on true. my own. And, but that's true. They're better. This is Dr. Johnny Trong. He said, I went from feeding five to seven new patients a week to just last week seeing 17 new patients in a week, a new record. Dr. Matt Ogle, Highland Chiropractic. My uh, marketing tripled in a week like from 9% on, my, uh, on our campaigns to the mid-30s. Also, I love their ads. They're professional, and the copy is way better than anything else I've seen. Dr. Jordan Tanko said, this group has been phenomenal. Their marketing strategies are on point, and they truly bend over backwards to make sure it's working for you. Dr. Sonny Gill from Kingston Crossing said, 25th West has been a huge part of our clinic's growth. I love how their program uses all of the platforms, not just Facebook, a true game changer. Um, side note, Dr. Sonny Gill is also the owner of Bremerton Wellness, which was the case study. The featured. The featured case study. Um, so we didn't put that here. We showed that at the beginning. So you guys, I mean, we know what we're doing. I have, I have like complete confidence that we can help you, that we can really give you the result and take you where you're trying to get to, right? Here's the deal. Do you want to hop on a blueprint call with me? If you do, I would absolutely love it. So here's what I would ask you to do next, okay? If you want to, go to www.25thwest.com forward slash blueprint. When you get there, there is a calendar, okay? There's a headline and a calendar. All you got to do, find a date that works for you. You and I will hop on a call and we'll start that blueprint call. We'll make sure that it's a fit. If it's a fit, we will move forward the next step. And, and, and let me just interject because I hear third parties because Sam will sometimes do work here at, the, uh -huh, at, yeah. our, at our office here. I hear these blueprint calls. I overhear these blueprint calls. So let me just tell you, just so you guys can kind of rest assured and feel that the water's fine. Um, Sam is a very, what you see is what you get kind of guy. Kind of, we, we resonate very much with each other. If you've had any interactions with me, um, and hopefully positive interactions, not <laughs> positive, I, I try to be that same way. Very transparent, very what you see is what you get. So uh, when you get on the call, the thing that you'll sense um, is it's, it really isn't some sort of like a calculated, uh, conniving, you know, yep. uh, manipulative sales pitch. It really is um, a very down to earth kind of genuine call because again, I, that's the thing that I admire when I hear him talking with countless docs, really genuinely trying to help. And the outcome of those calls, just so you guys know, total transparency, it's, it's one of two things. It either looks like it's going to be a good fit or this doesn't look like it's going to be a good fit. But the cool thing about that, just so you guys know, is when it isn't the right fit, it's not like Sam just hangs up the phone immediately. Ah, nope. get this person off. Nope, he we do the blueprint call. Yeah, we do the blueprint He does call. the blueprint. He helps you out. He's here to help. So do yourself a favor. Seriously, do yourself a favor and schedule that. Um, you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain right. by working with Sam, one way or another, right. working with them. I appreciate so. that. Thank you, Dr. Wilner. So uh, at the beginning, we talked about the 25K email, okay? Again, I am very straightforward, very simple. If you want it, it's very simple. Email me, sam at 25thwest.com. I will send it back to you. It's a video training. It will show you exactly how to do the 25K email. It works. You can do it tonight, you know, after the webinar if you want to. Um, it's amazing. Okay. One more thing I wanted to add, okay? Because, again, hopefully this has been valuable to you guys, but I wanted to even sweeten the deal a little bit more. For the first five people. I told them to hook you up with this. Yeah. It's pretty dope. For the first five people, I want to give you guys another training it's very simple, but extremely powerful. This thing is amazing, okay? Um, with, it's called Press Release Secrets, okay? With this simple and powerful tool, you'll be able to get featured on networks like this, okay? And you, yeah, Sam showed me this. We did this. Our clinic was featured on yeah. news sites. That's I did awesome. this, and it got, this was the first thing that ranked my podcast uh, yes. on Google. And, and initially we did it. We were ranking for five positions on the first page of Google for the keywords, uh, Facebook ads or no, I'm sorry, Facebook ads podcast. Yeah. 
which was blew me away. And okay? there's a lot of other Facebook ads podcasts out there. A ton of them. Absolutely. This is an amazing thing. You'll get this from me. Hop on it. Okay. The next thing is basically, don't forget you guys, 25thwest.com forward slash uh, blueprint. And thank you so much for being here with me today. I appreciate it. Dr. Warner's a friend of mine. Um, it was cool for him to be on here. And um, I would absolutely open it up. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and put those in the uh, comments now and we'll answer those.